Hello dear friends, here I am checking in on uh, Thursday, December the 6th, and we are officially in our fifth day of Rio winter here on the island, as um, we are <clears throat> not snowing it, but temperatures go down to about minus five or more in the night, and uh, in mornings are very crispy, and there's always a thick layer of frost lying around. And, um, yes, so seasons are changing. We are moving forward soon. Next thing you know, I'll be getting ready to start building a fence so that I can get on with the garden idea. I am here today to discuss something that uh, single parents and broken families go through a lot during these holiday seasons. And now, as you all know, we have Christmas coming up. And I have to tell you, for me, those holidays are usually the toughest times for me and um, my little Elisa I know too um, <clears throat> they're the toughest times of the year um, for a number of reasons one um, when I was still married and uh, was together with my ex and my daughter we used to always attend these Polish Christmases um, as we have a little Polish community here of about, you know, thriving, about 12 now uh, of us, and we used to spend every Christmas together, you know, and um, ever since we had broken up my family, they mm, very, very often, um, pretty much 90% of the time, choose to invite her and my daughter over instead of me just to avoid conflict and because she doesn't want to be around me and, and they make that choice. So I get excluded from it. And then also <clears throat> in Poland, uh, the most important Christmas date is August the tw uh, December the 24th, the evening on the 24th, um, which is when we all sit down and eat and open presents and have the major first uh, night and then uh, the 25th and the 26th are just additional holidays that we spend with friends now here in Canada the 25th the morning of the 25th is the day where the kids open the presents and families get together and eat and stuff like that and you know we had a deal with my ex that every year we would switch you know I would get her for Polish Christmas and uh, next year I would get her for Canadian Christmas and so on and back and forth but, you know, she's, my ex has made a decision not to give her for me for the Polish Christmas evening. And lately, last few years, I don't get her. I just get her the next day on, on the 25th. And she comes over and, you know, we hang out a bit and she gets her presents. And then she's kind of on her way to, to be with her friends, to show each other presents. I understand, you know, and hence I get left alone for the rest remaining of the Christmas. My parents and my brother are about 5,000 miles away in Ontario, and the rest of my family is in Eastern Europe, half a planet away from here, you know. So I spend most Christmases and New Year's and, and Easter's and uh, even my birthdays alone for that reason. Um, it's hard on the broken family, you know. It must be hard for my daughter, Elisa. I am sorry, you know, one day when you hear this, but I did this for your good, and one day I'll explain to you why. Um, but for any man or woman in my position, who is struggling with addictions of any kind, it is also a vulnerable time. It is a time where your mind starts to trick you and it could also, you know, try and trick you to go and go get high and go get drunk and say, ah, forget this and fuck that and I don't care about anything anymore. I don't have nobody. I'm alone. I might as well dwell on my misery and my torment myself and go get some crystal meth and heroin and be all messed up and show everybody that I'm rather weak than strong. Well, <clears throat> I will not do that. It will not bring me pleasure. Even though my own girlfriend won't be here, I will 
basically apply the rules and tools that I've learned throughout all these years. And I will keep seeing my doctors and I will keep seeing my friends who run support groups. And I will keep making these videos to prove to you that I'm here with you, that I'm clean and sober, that I'm doing it. I'm doing it in spite of all things in my way, you know. I don't smoke. I have a patch on right now. I'm still battling it, but I refuse to give up. And I am with you. I just want to tell you that you are not alone. I love you. To be continued.